Norton is tall. He's just as tall. He stands up straight. He don't duck like Joe King Roman. He don't duck like um, um, Joe King Roman off -raise. He keeps his distance. Well, Ali, uh, when you talk about the boxing and the ability of uh, uh, George Foreman, the way he starts so fast, this could be the big key in this fight as well. What'd you say? The way he starts so fast, the way he comes on in the first round could be the well, big key. I think that George looks a little weary now. He's not that confident. I've been fighting myself. Not as confident. He's jumping around, and uh, George Foreman uh, is a great fan of mine. He idolizes myself. And he knows how much hell I've caught with Norton. And he knows tonight, this is not a Joe Frazier, a uh, Joe King Roman. He knows he's in with a man who's been to college. He's got a degree from the Muhammad Ali School. Muhammad Ali, and who can tell it better than Muhammad Ali? The fight is being introduced in the ring here. Introducing fighters here at ringside. With me is Muhammad Ali. I'm Bob Shorten to describe the blow by blow, and from time to time you're going to hear Muhammad Ali telling you exactly the way he feels Bob, about I this fight. Bob, I think we should say hello to all our friends down there on Miami Beach, because that's you and my stomping ground, you remember? We've done some stomping around Miami, all right, Ali. Talking about the fight again, they say that, and they say this about you too, that George Foreman has a tendency to push uh, against the fighters that he fights against. There's Oscar Bonavena right up above here, and he. Oscar Bonavena now is trying to get Ali to go into the ring. There's Joe Lewis in the middle of the ring. Former heavyweight champion of the world. Loved by everybody. He got a tremendous ovation when he came into the Paledro here in Caracas earlier. Joe Lewis, that's Oscar Bonavena with him. And now here's Ali trying to get up and talk to Bonavena. Bonavena's got the jacket off. They've been into it two or three times already. Sit down here, Ali. We got a fight to broadcast here tonight. Wait till after the fight, then uh, you can go against Bonavena. Oscar Bonavena. Ali, you really want a piece of this man, I guess. Well, I knocked him out once in the 15th round. The fight was kind of close. He says if I didn't knock him out in the 15th, he would have won. And I'm, right. I don't know. He just makes me, I shouldn't blow my cool like this, but I just ain't going to have no man standing over me threatening me of all people. I'm well, the threat. He don't threaten you me. You certainly proved that on national television one day. You're right. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have our national anthem. This is the Venezuelan national anthem. to stay loose in the ring. Foreman looking extremely serious and concerned over there. A lot more concerned than he has certainly leading up to this fight. Kenny Norton on the other side is concentrating. You can tell by his face. This will be the biggest fighter that George Foreman has actually gone up against since probably Jack O'Halloran. Ken Norton just said after your school, Ali, he said, I'm going to handle this man. Kenny Norton will be decked out in blue. 
both fighters, six foot three. Now, ladies and gentlemen, with pride, our national anthem. Techniques in association with Telemedia Presents. Live from Caracas, Venezuela, World Heavyweight Championship, George Foreman versus Ken Norton, 15 rounds. Hello again, everybody. Bob Sheridan along with Muhammad Ali here at ringside for the Heavyweight Championship of the World is at stake. George Foreman coming into this ring with a record of 39-0, 36 knockouts, the tremendous record of 11 first-round knockouts, 21 of 36 KOs in four rounds of less. That's Ken Norton, a record of 32 wins, uh, 32 fights, 30 wins and two losses, a tremendous record in his own right. Lost to Jose Luis Garcia in Los Angeles in 1970. After that, he won 14 straight fights, including a victory over Muhammad Ali until he lost to Ali back in September. And now it looks like we're just about set as the fighters are being introduced. They're talking about the weights coming into this fight. Coming into this fight, the referee is George Kurd. And this has certainly been a, a big uh, problem with this fight because of the fact that uh, the handlers of George Foreman, namely Dick Sadler, wanted an American referee, but it's not to be that way. Fight is being introduced. I'd like to say that's awful bad to make a protest like that and lose it because mentally he's lost one round before the fight starts. is an American from Seattle, Washington. So it looks like Foreman's people got their wish. As I mentioned a while ago, this fight was in doubt up until three o'clock this afternoon. Suddenly Foreman came up with a bad knee. But evidently when Jimmy Rondo was announced as the referee, things were settled. Here they are in the center of the ring. What do you think about Muhammad well, Ali when you're in there like this? Well, right now, you know, you're a little nervous. You're a little shaky in the knees. And, but it's a funny thing. After the, I guess, ball players experience the same thing. After the bell rang and you come out and the first punch is thrown, then it's just like another day in the gymnasium. 
There it is from a man who certainly knows. Who's George that? Fulman and I have just been offered five million dollars a piece, which is unbelievable, by the government of Zaire, uh, which is used to be known as the Belgium Congo in Africa. And if he can win this fight tonight, which I don't think he will, if he win the fight, uh, he and I will defend. Our, uh, he'll have to defend his champion again in the Congo. Well, that's certainly your territory, Ali. But right now, talking about this fight, look at the concentration and the stare job that Foreman is putting on Ken Norton. Norton certainly has plenty of confidence in his own right. Norton on the right-hand side of the screen. George Foreman on the left-hand side. Here we go, round one. The heavyweight championship of the world is at stake. Let's watch and see if Foreman comes on strong. To this point, Norton has thrown the only punch. A light left on taken on the gloves by George Foreman. Wild left hand over the head of George Foreman. Both fighters exactly the same size. Foreman slightly heavier, about seven or eight pounds heavier. Norton and Foreman both six foot three inch. On the right hand side of your screen is the champion Foreman. On the left hand side is Ken Norton. Norton in blue, Foreman in red. Round one just underway in Caracas, Venezuela. Foreman showing the concentration. Foreman looks a little bit more patient than we've seen him. He knows he's got a fight cut out for him because he's in against a real big fella. Foreman goes out with that light left taken on the shoulder by Ken Norton. There's the pushing tactics. Foreman starting rather slow, feeling Norton out. Norton, and that won't call it a classic style, but certainly the style of dragging that right foot behind him. Vicious left hook goes over the head of the champion. Pretty good straight left hand thrown by Foreman, taken on the face, and a right hand to the kidney. That's a punch you've got to watch out. There's a good left hand, the best right that we've seen. Foreman pushes down in the head of Norton and landed a right hand, straight left hand to the face of Ken Norton. Norton right hand, right trying right to jab more with his left hand. This is what they say he has to do. Kind of a fishing left hand thrown by the champion. Right hand to the kidney thrown by the champ. Both fighters, the best punch is their left hook. There's the right hand again to the kidney of Kenny Norton. Norton takes a light left, throws a right of his own. One minute remaining in round one. Very even first round at this point. Light left hand taken, wild right hand, another left hand taken on the gloves by Norton. Norton scores with a left hand to the side of Foreman's head. Left hand miss, and left jab in the face of Foreman. Light left on the forehead. Pretty good left hand on the forehead of Ken Norton. Norton with his back up against the ropes, this is where he can't afford to stay. Slips the punch and slides around to his left. Very important type of movement. Norton hanging on with that left hand and tries to throw that wild right hand to the body. Foreman is not a great boxer. He's a great puncher, though. Norton is a good boxer. As Foreman comes in and tries to hold up, Norton backs up. Nine seconds remaining in this round, the first round. Foreman kind of feeling out Norton. There we go, the opening round of the heavyweight championship of the world in Caracas. It's history. Mohammed, what did you think of the first round? Well, just like I thought it would be, Ken and Norton boxing. George Foreman not throwing all those hard punches and punching him out easy like he did Joe Frazier because Ken and Norton's a great fighter. Any man who goes 12 rounds, 24 rounds with me, it's got to be great. There ain't no George Foreman, who's still a good amateur, going to destroy Ken Norton because I couldn't do it. And I'm proud of what Norton did because it shows the world that Norton is a great fighter. That's George Foreman we're watching. He hardly looks like he's built up a sweat yet. That's Archie Moore working on him. His handler, Dick Sadler. Coming up to round two. First round, very even. Maybe a slight edge on the amount of leather landed Don Norton would have to give to George Foreman. Muhammad Ali is continually yelling instructions to Ken Norton. This is Norton's corner here now. Norton filled with concentration. He's a positive thinker. In fact, he won the Napoleon Hill Award for Positive Thinking, a foundation award. Here we go, round two, the heavyweight championship, Caracas, Venezuela. George Foreman, Ken Norton on your left. Now watch Foreman try to cut off Norton in the corners, but Norton is working the left jab much better as he slips a punch and out of that corner. 
This is what Norton must do. Long right hand that lands just on the left hand side of the head of Foreman. Norton tries to jab. Foreman holds those hands up and tries to push. No damage done there. Foreman pushed that away. Foreman will try to push him. He'll push his man down with his left hand and then throw the right. Foreman see him trying to cut Norton off on the corners. Kenny Norton has got plenty of boxing experience. 24 rounds with Ali is a master's degree in boxing in any man's school. This is what he can't do. He can't mix it up with Foreman inside. Referee Jimmy Rondo separates the fighters. First real clinch of the fight. Round two, scheduled for 15, the heavyweight championship of the world. Oh, a good, good right hand on the left-hand side of the face of Norton. Norton is a bit stunned as Foreman is teeing off, and it looks like Norton has really been staggered as he went up against the rope. The referee is giving it the count. Yes, he'll have to take the eight count. Okay, seven, eight, and here we go as Foreman comes banging on in the second round. Norton goes down again. A left hand on the side of the head. Norton goes back. He'll have to take another eight count. No, he doesn't. His legs are rubbery as a left hand goes to the side of his head. A right uppercut, a left jab, and a vicious left sends Norton crumbling to the canvas for the second time. Norton is in Queersville. He doesn't know where he is. It's up to five, six. I don't know if Norton can make it. It might be all over right here. It's up to nine, ten, and they, are they going to continue it, or are they going to stop it? It looks like it may be all over, and it is all over. George Foreman retains the heavyweight championship. We'll make our way in the ring here and talk to George Foreman, who has retained the heavyweight title. George! George! Hey! Let's get George over here for television. Champ! Let's get George on television. Millions of people around the world. George wants to bot everybody. A lot of confusion in the ring here in Caracas. We're going to get to the heavyweight champion of the world, George Foreman, winner in a second round knockout. Wants to bow to everybody. Reminiscent of the days and Certainly in the Olympic Games where George Foreman went around the ring with a flag. Tremendous second round knockout for George Foreman. We're going to get to him and talk to him. Watch the microphone. Hey, George. Let us get it, George. George. The million people around the world want to talk to the champion. George, George, hey, watch it now, watch it. Come on, champ. It's a million people around the world who want to talk to the champion. Let's go. Let's get him on television. Let's get the champion on television. All right, I remember you now. No more talk. Okay. Champ. 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 George. Come over here so we can get you on television. Will you please? Millions of people around the world. Champ. How about it? Did you think you could do it so early in the fight? I was very fortunate to catch him with some good punches. The man is strong. He's got a good jab, which surprised me. Dick, I knacked you not to get excited now. Champ, the big story has to be. Champ, the big story has to be what happened today with the leg. What was that story? Well, God bless me. I've been, my leg is in bad shape. I have to get some rest on it. I couldn't even walk this morning. Tell, tell me, what punch did you actually drop him with, George? George, turn around for television, will you please? We've got certainly pandemonium in the ring here. Got pandemonium. George, what punch was it that you took him out with? I think it was a number of right hands. They weren't real sharp, but they were right on the butt. Once I got him hurt, I didn't let him come out of it. Did you really believe that you could take him out? I know the pre-fight you said you could. Well, I've been punching hard and I won. I'm proud, okay? Okay, George. Never mind, Cosell. We've got 100 million people listening to you That's right, right here. That's right. Okay. All the people are important. Cosell is like you, just another good guy. Okay. George, where do you go from here now? The big fight coming up in September against Muhammad Ali? 
Well, first, I want to get home. My mother had to be hospitalized while I was away. So I have to go home and see my mother, see how she's doing. Then rest okay, a bit and then see what's up. Champion, okay, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Chairman. Great, good. Great good talking great to you. Great. See if we can get over and talk to Kenny Norton now. If we possibly can, get our mic cords over here to talk to Ken Norton. Got tremendous confusion in the ring. Trying to get to Ken Norton. Trying to get to trying to get to Kenny Norton here. Tremendous confusion here and complete pandemonium in the ring. Try and open it up here. Gotta get Ken Norton. Um, tremendous confusion. to win. Ken Nard is very strong. Hit me with a good left hook and he had a surprisingly good jab. So he's a blessed fighter like myself and tonight I'll win. Tomorrow someone else but I'm blessed to be able Will to it be on. Ali in Africa? I'd like to fight all the contenders anyway. I think that Mohammed deserves a title shot. He's fought everybody in the country and won and been down on his luck so there's no one in the country more deserving a title shot than himself. You will fight him in September? I'll fight anybody anytime. Okay George, congratulations again. Thank you. All right. As you can see, the usual bedlam in ring center. George Foreman knocking out Kenny Norton at about one minute, 50 seconds of the second round. Seemed a little sluggish, but always overpowering. And that's the story at ringside. George Foreman, the winner and still the heavyweight champion of the world. Howard Cosell reporting from Caracas, Venezuela. punches. I don't think they hurt me, but I got hit, and uh, a good fighter probably wouldn't get hit. Yeah, you really thought the, the, the fight would finish so as a sudden? Beg your pardon? You, you thought the fight would finish so fast? No, I'm a puncher. Most of my fights have been in the first, second round. Uh, a guy has to be, he either has to get me or I'm going to get him. Something. You think it's going to be the first or second with Ali? Well, I think it was very fortunate that it was the second with Ken Norton. And if God continue to bless me, as he have, I think that I'll be able to get the other people also. Sure, because he's not hurt now. He just got knocked out. Nobody's hurt. What, what will be the next fight? As a matter of fact, he asked his manager, he said, what happened? What happened? He don't, he, he's not hurt. you have any plans for your next fight? Not right now. You know, this morning I could barely walk and 
It was with the aid of a lot of prayer. I went in my room and prayed hard. And God enabled me to come in to fight tonight. I had taken all kinds of shots, nothing seemed to help. So it was a little faith that got me through here tonight. Now we're going to have the replay of the knockout in the second round. We have that coming up right away. It was a dramatic second round knockout. Nobody really believed that this fight would go out in two. Here we go. Watch that. There's the left. And look at that right uppercut. Tremendous right uppercut. Now here he comes on. Another vicious right hand. And that's the one that did the damage. That left hand put him out to stay. It was a tremendous uppercut. We'll have that again for you in a little while, I'm sure. A tremendous uppercut was the one that really did the damage. And then it was a lunging left hand that really took him down. And then he just followed up with that right, and that was all over. Here we go again. Watch this now. Watch. Norton holds up. There's the straight left hand. Snaps the head to the left. Now watch. He fades the left and comes across. A good left to the body. There's the right hand that pushes him down. Another left hook that goes, goes over the head of Kenny Norton. The right hand catches him on the side of the head. Pushes him away. Now watch this. Bang! That really knocks him in. Get him going the other way. The right hand crosses across. Spins his head. Foreman still knows where he is at this point, but his legs are rubbery. Uh, rather, Norton knows where he is, but his legs are rubbery. Foreman comes up with that uppercut. Now watch this one. There's the one that really spins his head. And look at that uppercut. There's the damaging blow. Now the legs go rubbery. Another, another vicious right hand. So it's two right uppercuts in a row that did the damage. Two vicious right uppercuts. They talk about his left hook. Here's Muhammad Ali again. Mohammed, Mohammed. They want you on national television again and around the world. How about that big fight coming up? Tell me about that fight. He's too slow. He can't hit me with this stuff. I'm a professional. Turn around and face that camera over there, Ali. They want to hear about you and talk to you around the world. He hit Ken Norton just like he do all his opponents. Caught him early. I'm meeting his heart, but if a man can stay out of the way for five rounds, stick him, move. Stay out of range, be in good shape, he'll retire George Foreman. This man depends on getting this man in the first one or two rounds. If he don't do that, he's frustrated. Stick him with left jabs and right crosses, tie him up and box him, and you'll retire him. No, I'm going this man is going to whoop George Foreman, and I'm going to whoop him of all places in Africa, in the Congo, where the Lumumba boys are. Dolly, now that you have your cool about you and you calm down at this point, I want you to answer this question. How could that man go 24 rounds with you and only two with the heavyweight champion of the world? Because George Fullman is not as good of a fighter scientific as I am, but I admit he's stronger and he hit harder. I'm not a hard puncher. I'm not known for being a hard puncher. I fought many men like Floyd Patterson, Zora Foley, George Fowler, who are stronger than I am. Many I couldn't knock out, Sonny Liston. But I'll tell you this, boxing ability, speed, whooping him on points for the distance if necessary. Then I'll whoop him. Well, fight in your home territory. You couldn't be any happier the way this is coming up in September. Why would you call Africa my home territory? You've been telling me that for 10 years. Oh, that's right, and if you come over there talking like that, we'll cook you. <laughs> that's it for Muhammad Ali. If I go over to the Congo, and I'll probably be there, I'm going to get cooked. 